Hey everyone, welcome back to another Beast of the Mesozoic Ceratopsian series review. Today we're taking a look at the fan's choice Medusa Ceratops. That's right, I said fan's choice. The Ceratopsian series technically concluded uh, just over a year ago and we're finally getting the fan choice offerings. Back when the Raptor series came out, uh, the fan choice figures were, came out at the exact same time as the Raptor figures were shipping. Just took a little bit of time to get the uh, fan choice offerings of the Ceratopsian series going. And the first one is here. It's the Medusa Ceratops, which is just a straight up repaint of the original version. Now, if you'd like to order this figure, it's still technically up for pre-order on Creative B Studios for $69.99. It's because the first shipment just hit the warehouse. That's how I got mine. Uh, there's not enough to fulfill all the pre-orders yet. Another uh, set of shipments is coming in relatively soon. Once that hits the warehouse, it's going to go up to its regular retail price of $74.99. So if you want to save 5 bucks, pre-order it now. The link is down below in the description. So fans choice, get me to buy another version of a figure I already own, but that's okay because uh, this color scheme is truly unique. I can't wait to get this out of the packaging. I already watched Andy's uh, review on this and just the uh, the color pattern on this figure is something special. So I was definitely gonna pick this up because uh, I really did like the Medusa Ceratops figure. Um, some people thought it was just maybe a little bit too cartoony me personally i thought it was great but it's nice to have uh different options when purchasing these figures i uh, that's why i like the fans choice it gives us uh you know a different version to purchase for our collection it gives us choices and choices are always good so let's just take a quick look at the package before we crack this figure open you got the medusa ceratops all front and center in that nice window packaging and right here we have the new artwork for the fan choice and it's just absolutely beautiful it's just a nice medusa ceratops resting uh, on some ferns. I really wish the figures could pose like that. They just look absolutely fantastic, but that's just a dream of mine. On the side of the box, you have the Beast of the Mesozoic logo, silhouette of the Triceratops. On the back, you get that same artwork with some facts about Medusa Ceratops, and the sleeve is removable, and we get a look at the other fan choice figures that are available. Uh, I already pre-ordered the Taurosaurus because Taurosaurus is my favorite Ceratops of all time. And I just hate having an extra $140 burning in my wallet. So of course, I had to pre-order this. Uh, definitely get an old buck. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get the bloody version. Uh, I probably will, because like I said, I hate money. And I'm still on the fence about the Packy Rhinosaurus. You know, I ordered almost every figure in the Tyrannosaur series, and uh, this would be some Mesozoic space becomes an issue really, really quickly. But yeah, I definitely do like the concept of the fan choice to give us uh, different versions of these beautiful, beautiful figures. So enough about the packaging. Let's crack this thing open and take a closer look. And let's start with a nice 360 degree view of the Medusa Ceratops. And yes, I don't need to show it because I showed it for plenty of times in my Ceratops and videos. You have to plug the tail into the figure's bum bum. So anyways, this fan's choice figure, what a absolutely stunning and beautiful figure. Uh, you know, with each wave of the Ceratops, I think the paint jobs got better and better. Like, I feel like the peak obviously was for wave three. But this Medusa Ceratops, this fan choice one, is just on another level. Let's get the camera to focus in on all that beautiful paint. Now, just like most figures in the Beast of Mesozoic series, its color inspiration was taken from real-life reptiles and amphibians. And this Medusa Ceratops takes its inspiration from the white Lip python, which is known for its iridescent colors. Now, the paint scheme on here is not... Uh, real iridescent paint it's just painted to look like that which is even more mind-blowing it's just different layers of paint as you're rotating the figure in your hands just all these new colors just stop popping you have metallic blues orange yellow metallic purple uh gold just just so many layers on this figure it's just truly mind-boggling that this is is a 70 dollar uh figure with this premium premium paint job uh the horns turned out absolutely fantastic uh i know the cheshire look of the original version uh kind of turned some people uh, uh off to this figure but this much more natural light brown and dark brown on the uh horns on the frill just uh is very very appealing i just think the whole color scheme works it just looks nice and natural and I i'm like like i said i already own this figure and i don't mind i just dropped another 
70 bucks now because the color scheme is so unique and beautiful it, it just feels like a brand new figure in my eyes and now for some quick measurements this figure is 12 and a half inches long from the tip of the beak to the tip of the tail or just under 32 centimeters and just about five inches tall to the top of the frill or just under 13 centimeters so medusa ceratops in real life was just under 20 feet long or about six meters so i put this figure nicely in that 118 scale range and just like most figures in the ceratops series you do get this nice collector card with that artwork that was on the front of the box there's a beautiful picture of the medusa ceratops resting on a bed of ferns and turn around you do get an actual picture of the figure and some facts about Medusa Ceratops. And now let's zoom in and take a look at some of the finer details on this figure. Started with just absolutely amazing paint job. Like this is a straight up repaint of the previous Medusa Ceratops, but the paint job is so well done. It feels like a completely different figure. I love how there's a pattern on the brow horns. It's a nice homage to the previous release, but these are much, much more natural looking. I know some people don't like uh, patterns on the horns on Ceratopsians, but I do like it. It definitely gives them uh, a distinctive look. And then going down to the face, you have all this white mixed in with black, metallic blue. You even have a little bit of gold on the top of the snout and just behind the eye a little bit of orange and then looking at the frill from the front you do have this deep maroon color with another highlight of gold the uh, horns on top of the frill are painted uh, similar to the brow horns and all the knobs along the frill are just painted in that really light brown coloration the nostril is highlighted by that beautiful beautiful metallic blue the eye is painted yellow with a black pupil just absolutely love all the layers of paint on this thing it's just absolutely incredible looking and then going to the lower jaw you do have some nice dry brushing of brown some more black markings along it and then for the beak you have a nice uh, bone coloration and then going down to the neck you got some metallic green and orange mixing in more of that metallic blue like i said it's supposed to, this paint job is supposed to give the illusion that is iridescence and i think they pulled it off absolutely beautifully just as you just move the figure around all these different colors just pop it's just absolutely absolutely a breathtaking looking figure you get more of that shiny metallic blue on the top you get some of that nice rainbow coloration uh on the flanks back of the frill you do have some brown paint and some nice scale details you do have some large osteoderms picked out in black paint uh, along the back going down to the front legs nice uh dry brushing and wash bring out all that nice scale detail the hand claws are decked out in glossy dark brown paint and then for the underside you have some more nice washes to bring out all that nice scale detail look how nice the uh bottoms of the feet look nice nicely very nicely detailed going down to the thighs you can see more large osteoderms more of that metallic blue and purple mixing with a little bit of black toe claws same thing uh, glossy dark brown paint and then going down to the tail you have a nice pattern and mostly done in metallic blue so yeah all in all this figure is just absolutely stunning looking and you know i don't like buying a lot of repaints uh for my collection you know i collect transformers which is kind of hypocritical because every time they come out with Starscream, uh, yeah, I gotta get Thundercracker, Skywarp, and the Coneheads. So I'm always like literally buying six of the same old every uh, Transformer series. But yeah, this paint job came out so good, I don't mind adding another version of Medusa Ceratops to my collection. And now for articulations, I found you know these mid-size uh, figures are much more fun to mess around with than the larger Ceratopsians. Uh, they're just the you know, large ones are very heavy and kind of cumbersome to move. But I found this is like the perfect size point to really get a, a sense of how poseable these figures are. The mouth can open up pretty wide, and I don't think we took a look in there earlier. Uh, it's done in a, like a deep. Uh, purplish pink color there is teeth in there painted white but you can barely see them uh because it's the way the lighting in my studio is and let's zoom back out mouth can close pretty much flush you do have a little bit of a gap there but it's not as bad as it is on the torosaurus and triceratops you do have a joint uh, joint at the base of the neck you get some up and down and side to side movement back uh base of the neck you do get some nice side to side with those two joints working in tandem figure can look up about that far and look down pretty far going to the front legs you do get backwards and forwards movement they're in a hinge so the legs can swing out for the elbow you get about 90 degrees of bend and you get some rotation at that elbow joint for the wrist some up and down 
and side to side movement for the midpoint you do get some up and down movement at that mid cut joint and some side to side movement for the hind legs go backwards and forwards you get a little bit of bend at the knee that's my biggest complaint about the ceratops is i wish there was better uh bend at the knee on the hind legs i just feel like you get, get some better poses you have a little bit more uh flexibility at that joint uh at the ankle you get some forwards and backwards move it a little bit of rotation and for the feet a little bit up and down and also some rotation and for the tail up down and side to side and since it's on a ball joint you do get 360 degrees of rotation so yeah the uh, articulation on the Medusa Ceratops is definitely one of the more uh, limber figures in the line. Moving on, width comparisons. First up, here it is with the Hammond Collection. Alan Grant, the Hammond Collection is 118 scale, so this gives you a good idea of how big Medusa Ceratops was in real life. And now let's bring out the original version of the Medusa Ceratops. So it's pretty much a night and day difference i absolutely love this figure i know some people thought it was a little bit too vivid with all that bright purple and yellow and this you know that cheshire cat looking up pattern on the horns but i really really do like this figure and this is a nice compliment to have uh, two of these on the shelves i guess it could be like the most wild looking mated pair uh, in the history of dinosaurs but yeah i think they both just turned out really good so now you know you have options now when you want to get a medusa ceratops from uh, Creative Beast Studios, and like I say, options are always good. And let's compare it to some other Medusa Ceratop figures. Here is Collect Days, and here is PNSO's Mini Medusa Ceratops. I wonder if they'll ever get around to doing a uh, you know full uh, figure version of it. But yeah, at least there's a couple Medusa Ceratop figures uh, on the market. You know, I love like these obscure Ceratops things are getting more and more recognition, you know, especially when compared to like Pachyrhinosaurus and Triceratops, which pretty much every company has multiple figures of those species. And next up here it is with the 118 scale Velociraptor and 118 scale Protoceratops. And let's compare it to some of the other different size ceratops. Here it is with Spicliphilus. And next, here it is with Centrosaurus. And lastly, let's do one of the big boys. And here it is with Triceratops. These things sometimes are so hard uh, to juggle around the studio. And here it is with the good old trike. And next up, here it is with the Hammond Collection T-Rex. And lastly, here it is with the 118 scale T-Rex that one day I will finish painting this thing. Uh, yes, you can see the tail is unattached because I'm in the middle of painting it. Uh, so that's why I have it raised up so high because it's a little bit off balanced. So final thoughts on the fan's choice Medusa Ceratops. I really love this figure. The paint job is just a work of art. Just so many different colors going on with it. And just the way they pulled off that iridescent look. Well, it actually being iridescent is pretty amazing. So yeah, for those that weren't a fan of the original Medusa Ceratops, I think you'd be quite pleased uh, with this one. It strikes the perfect balance of, you know, being striking, but also natural looking. And like I said at the beginning of the review, right now this figure is still up for pre-order because they haven't received uh, the full shipment yet from China. So if you want to save five bucks right now on Creative Beast Studios, it's $69.99. Uh, once the other shipment comes in, which will be I think in a month or so, it's going to go up to 75 bucks. And the link to order this figure is down below in the description. So that will do it for the review. Still have plenty more 118 scale uh, Beast of Mesozoic figures to review. Still got the Dromaeosaurus, Satakasaurus, and a couple others. So stay on the lookout for those reviews. And as always, if you're enjoying the content on this channel, show your support by hitting that subscription button just below the video. Each subscription helps out the channel tremendously and is greatly appreciated. And I'll see you guys for the next one.